Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will continue with the previous lecture uh, for the Azure subscription options as well as the enterprise agreement uh, within the Microsoft Azure subscription. Also, we will look at Azure reservations. As you know that uh, the options, what we have seen for the subscribing would be the pay as you go one of the model. So mostly use the pay as you go model. And when we compare with the pay as you go model uh, versus with Azure RIs, RI stands for a reservation instance. So this is well save the cost of close to 72 percentage and if you just go to the RIs plus Azure benefit you're gonna save close to 80 percent of the cost when compared with the pay as you go model let me explain here what I'm trying to talk if I just go to the Microsoft calculator or pricing website uh, this was specific to the virtual machine pricing so what I'm gonna do is within this uh, if you see here pay as you go model which is not the hybrid here so normal pay as you go model if it is costing a normal bsv1 uh, vm or normally we take it here uh, db3 uh, d series uh, version 3 vm which is the uh, mostly used uh, vm so if you see here it's costing 0.188 uh, per hour basis dollars and if I just go for the hybrid uh, with the pay as you go model it's actually going close to the half of the price has been cut down but if the same thing if I just go for the three years reserved price it's going to be further down and if I just go to the one year price it is you know decreased a lot you can check out here once again uh, if you just see here uh, if I don't have the hybrid option it is actually costing me uh, close to 0 0.0113 and if I just reserved again it is double zero nine nine and if I just go to the three z, uh, three years reserved it it is more uh, saving when you you know looking into it and if you try and go for the hybrid this is actually a lot cheaper compared with any other models so and the cheapest one would be the spot instances uh, where uh, if the VMs are available and it's gonna you know give you a close to you know five minutes of the notice period and then you know you can use it for running uh, bigger um, calculations or uh, chain or the batch jobs you can you know use the spot instances but normally that's not suitable but a type of uh, workloads on late will be suited so as we explained here the cost is if you you know just go with the uh, arise with the Azure hybrid you're gonna actually saving close to 80% of the cost if you would like to know more about the Azure reservations I can uh, help you out here so with the Azure reservations will help you to save money by committing to either one year or three years plan that's what we have seen in the portal if you can you know remember and uh, Either it can be for virtual machines or it can be for your as your blob storage or data leak storage with the generation 2 or SQL database for the computing capacity and as your disk storage as your Cosmo DB through output or other as your resources so what you're gonna do is you're actually committing allowing you to you know get a discount on the resources you're gonna use so you're gonna reserve uh, those reservations can sig significantly reduce your cost up to 72 to 80 percent of the cost altogether and reservations provides a billing discount and uh, don't affect the uh, runtime state of your resources uh, you can pay for reservations upfront uh, either monthly or uh, total cost as upfront so that it's going to actually reserved for you and you don't have to pay any extra fees when you choose to pay monthly so monthly payment is available for as your reservations are uh, not third party products you can uh, pay by these reservations from the azure portal and if you're you know thinking about why to be reserved because if you think about the virtual machines or the blob uh, storage or cosmo db or sql db so these kind of you know high uh, significant capacity of through outputs so for the longer period of time whatever you have a plan or then you have to think about buying uh, as a reservation gives you most cost effective options for example when you continuously run four instances of uh, services without a reservation uh, you're going to charge as a pay as you go model here 
um, that would actually cost you higher instead of that if you have some kind of a plan so that uh, you can actually reserve those uh, size of the instances and little point you're gonna you know save either cost close to 72 to 80 percent of the cost you do have an option from switching from pay as you go to any other options and this is uh, one of the web link which talks about the supported offers for example if you are in a pay as you go model you can go for the uh, switching back to either reservation uh, specific one or any other options which are available so you don't have a subscription with the pay as you go or uh, currently only this option you need to you know, go if you have a free trial you can upgrade to pay as you go so different options you have and you need to you know check out this website for further help on that and you can always raise a case with the microsoft by going into the billing and you can create a request if you need any further assistance on switching back or anything related to the billing and that billing specific is not actually uh, charge you back anything it's uh, free of cost for you when we talk about the reservations it's not just the microsoft azure cloud we do have in aws but the cost uh, compa compared with aws and microsoft azure is really cheaper uh, when you actually compare with the hubs uh, versus uh, Microsoft Azure you can check out here uh, within this link uh, you see here AWS EC2 is nothing but a computing thing and AWS is gonna cost you you know huge here but as your benefit uh, if you use it, it it is actually gonna uh, very cheaper comparatively and you can check out here in this uh, article it is very clearly mentioned the benefits uh, the benefit are close to be 71 percent is you're gonna save when compared with AWS EC2 and the same thing applies for the RDS and uh, combination of EC2 also for SQL Server VMs definitely because these are purely built on Microsoft whereas the AWS is uh, built on their own platforms let's also understand about the subscription a type called enterprise agreement now before you understand about the EA, you need to understand pay as you go model is uh, you can directly jump into the Microsoft portal and uh, you can input your credit card and get it built uh, based on the user's charges. But uh, if you are uh, trying to get the services from CSP, that means the Taiwan provider, for example, Ingram, Reddington and Crayon such kind of you know, people who's gonna provide you CSP uh, CSP stands for here the cloud solution providers they directly provide the cloud services uh, for example Microsoft Azure or Office 365 or Amos or any um, cloud-based services they would be you know, providing uh, so what they do is they provision directly from Microsoft to uh, to you directly so they are gonna build you not to the not not by Microsoft so for you the first uh, support contact would be CSP in this case so uh, that's how it's gonna work and uh, in that situation you might have to you know uh, check with any kind of you know support with the CSP uh, CSP provider either Ingram or Reddington or Crayon and other type is uh, when directly Microsoft involves uh, with you to make an agreement with the help of Microsoft partners uh, so that's called the EA so enterprise agreement so what would happen is with the enterprise agreement you're actually committing uh, based on at least a three years contract uh, of these many hours you're gonna use the resources of uh, such uh, XYZ amount of dollars you're gonna you know, spend on Microsoft Azure whether you're gonna use it or you're not gonna use it it doesn't matter but you have to pay that uh, much of the dollars at the end of the term so you might you have to pay that as a friend so this is how is the EA would work so for that your Microsoft uh, time would uh, come into the picture and he will be working with you uh, in order to you know better uh, implementation or any kind of you know charges all that would be you know taken care by your time and your sales so that's all about the understanding about the EA as well as the normal subscriptions and pay-as-you-go model and the reservations I hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this